What's up, everybody? This is from the Devs Collectibles, and today we're going to get into this week's haul. Alrighty, folks. First up is this Mandarin Spawn. Now, this Mandarin Spawn is a Target and I think GameStop exclusive because I did see him in a couple of GameStops. But this one is different than the Gold Label version. Alright, here is the Gold Label next to the, uh, the new one that just came out. Now, there is differences in the sculpts themselves. It's not just a simple color swap. They do also have different weapons. And uh, to be honest, I think the red one looks a lot better than the blue one, to be honest. I do like the red and gold uh, color scheme that they have on the new one. And it just makes the uh, figure pop so much better. We will be taking these out, maybe doing a review on these because I do like taking my spawn figures out and having them uh, for display. So we might do a little bit of uh, comparison on these to see uh, the differences in their armor and in their weapons. All right, guys, next up we have the uh, Power Rangers Lightning figure and we have this My Hero Academia figure. Now this Power Rangers Lightning figure I picked up because of the head sculpt. If you already have the uh, Black Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, version of the show from the Lightning Collection, you can head swap them for uh, this one because this is of Adam. Adam used to be the uh, Black Ranger for a little bit uh, in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers version of the show. And uh, if you already have that figure, you can head swap him with that. So it's a good figure to have two of because you can also have this version of him and the Black Ranger version from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Pretty cool. So next up, we have this My Hero Academia figure from McFarlane Toys, and it is of All Might. Now, I really don't see much of All Might hanging around, you know, in stores too much. So I picked him up because, you know, we really don't find much at Walgreens. And finding his figure there, I thought might as well pick him up. So next up is the Star Wars Black Series that I picked up this week. Now the funny thing is, is that I picked up two one day and I picked up two a different day, but they all came from the same target. So I'm assuming they had uh, got a different shipment in between that time and I missed out. But it's all good because I really needed the Elite Squad Trooper to finish off the wave. And now that's it for me. I'm done with that wave. The other three, I'm going to see if my brother wants them. If not, I'm going to see if anybody in the collecting community might want them. But if you're still looking for these, they are in the Targets and they are in the Walmarts. They are still getting stocked. So if you get lucky, go out there and look and you might find them. So this week on Stuff I Found at the Thrift Store, let's start off with this creepy classics that are narrated by Vincent Price. Now, I think this video is something he played during a Halloween party or something like that because it comes with uh, trivia questions that you answer. Uh, there's a little piece of paper on the inside with the, the questions and stuff. And I, it, I think it is a clip show of sorts because it says that it comes with a bunch of different uh, horror movies and B movies. And I think what it is is that you watch the movies and stuff and you answer the questions with your friends. Uh, you know, it seems like a good time fun to do stuff maybe with like you know a little bit of drinking involved so I picked it up now it's been kind of dry at you know the Goodwills and thrift stores lately when it comes to video games but I did find this Devil May Cry for the PS2 uh, it was only three bucks uh, not bad for a game that uh, is pretty much a classic on the PS2 uh, Dante is one of the coolest characters out there and it is complete it has the uh, manual on the inside and the CD is not that scratched up if you know anything about PlayStation uh, discs, they could take a beating and still play. So this one's not too bad. So I did play it. It did work. And it's all good. And for $3, not bad. You know you had to pick that up. So I found this big Mamma Jamma at a Goodwill for only 8 bucks. It's not bad. It is missing a couple of pieces. Obviously the back, the uh, cockpit right here, uh, the satellite dish right here, and a couple of flaps where the cannon goes. But this one is the uh, Star Wars Force Awakens uh, Battle Action Millennium Falcon. And it is pretty cool because there's a couple buttons on the side that you press and it pops up the turrets and the cannon. So this is actually a pretty cool thing. If I can find the uh, pieces for it, hopefully I can find the pieces for it. Uh, it will go into my, uh, my Star Wars collection. Maybe do a little diorama with this thing as the centerpiece of it. But all in all, it's a pretty cool find for eight bucks. So next up is the stuff that I found at GameStop. I did hear that GameStops were getting new shipments of figures, so I wanted to check out what my local GameStop had, and I did luck out and found some figures. I did get this Clone Commander Kree from the Black Series. Now this one is a weird figure to find because I'm thinking that they're getting new shipments of these because I think this one came out in 2017 and was a GameStop exclusive. And 
honestly, I've been to that uh, GameStop a couple of times uh, within the month, and they didn't have these figures. So I'm thinking that this is a new stock of these. So if you don't already have them, look at your local GameStops, and you might get lucky and find them. So next up is this DC Multiverse figure of Nightwing. But this Nightwing is special. It is the Jokerized Nightwing. Uh, I'm not too sure about what's up with these ones because it doesn't say anything special on the box. It doesn't indicate that he is the Jokerized version. Even the art on the box on the back has the regular Nightwing on the back without, you know, no Joker face or anything. So if you guys have any information on why these Jokerized versions are in normal boxes, please let me know in the comments down below because I am curious. So next up is the stuff that we found underneath the shelves. Now we found a couple extra things off camera because you know flipping shelves and recording was a pain in the ass so we stopped recording. But you did see us pick up this hand ninja from underneath one of those shelves. Now in the same target we did find this R5 P8. Uh, now this one is from the uh, Galaxy's Edge trading post series of the uh, Star Wars Black series. And I do not have this one so I thought I'd pick them up and add them to the collection. So at a different target we found this Godzilla Tokyo SOS NECA figure. Now I'm very happy about finding this because I do collect these figures. Um, I do not have this individual figure in my collection. I have the variant of this figure where he has the lightning on his chest. Uh, so this was a great find for me because these NECA figures are starting to get very, very scarce to find. Uh, because as you know, NECA does not have the uh, licensing to Godzilla anymore. Um, so they do not make these NECA figures anymore. And I do want these. I did come into the game late with these box, uh, these boxes, and I want these boxes because they look amazing on the shelf. But the fact that you can open them up for the flaps and stuff that you can see inside of the figure, they are great for displaying. So great find, and it was a great thing to find underneath one of those shelves. It was pure gold. So last up on the smaller end of things, we did find this tin. Now this one, I'm not really sure what Pokemon packs are inside of these tins, but there is two TCG packs inside of them. And there is one metallic coin. And it says on the back that there is a art print of the Pokemon that is on top of the tin. So it must be either a Mew or a Psyduck. But I'm gonna open this thing up because I am curious to find out what's inside. And I'm curious to see what we pull from these packs. All right, we're gonna talk about the big things that we found underneath the shelves this week. I found this Triceraton 2-pack and this Rat King and Vernon set. Now this Rat King and Vernon set is really hard to come by now. Uh, NECA even had to do pre-orders for the restock that they are going to do. And I luckily did not pre-order that. All I did was pre-order the uh, two pizza monsters that I was able to pre-order. So luckily I did not do that because I found him and I found the Triceratons. Which the Triceratons are currently under pre-order right now. So. I don't have to worry about either of those. I might now just go ahead and pre-order me an Ace Duck. So I am so happy the Fig Gods, as uh, Figure Digger says, has shined down on me and I'm happy to get these. So this week was a great week for Godzilla figures. I am a huge fan of Godzilla and I was in heaven this week because everywhere I went there was new figures. So I picked up this Burning Godzilla and I had to pick up my main man Jet Jaguar. As soon as I heard that Playmates was making a figure of Jet Jaguar, I had to pick him up because he is my all-time favorite uh, kaiju underneath Godzilla. Because without Godzilla, there would be no Jet Jaguar. So Jet Jaguar is a close second in my all-time favorite uh, kaijus. And as soon as I heard that he is having a new figure, I had to pick him up because if you know anything about Jet Jaguar figures, you know that they are expensive. So. I'm so happy to pick this up for $15 and if I could find another one, I might pick up another one just because I'm that much of a fan of Jet Jaguar. Alright, moving on to the next Godzilla figure that I picked up. I picked up this Battle Roar Godzilla from Godzilla vs Kong. Now this is a pretty cool figure because he has a little button on him that when you press him he does make a noise. Now let's see if we can do it right here quick. He does make a noise. So I'm a sucker for uh, figures that make noises, and especially Godzilla figures that make his uh, iconic roar. So I picked him up. He is pretty cool. 
kind of the face scope is a little wonky, but I do expect that from these cheaper Playmates uh, toys. So all in all, a pretty cool figure to pick up. If you do not already have this figure and you are interested in this line, I suggest you pick him up because he is pretty cool. All right, last up, we have the big boys. We have the Mega Heat Ray Godzilla, the Mega Punching Kong, and the Giant Mecha Godzilla. Now the Giant Mecha Godzilla, there's nothing really fancy going on with him. Uh, he is just a scaled up version of the Mecha Godzilla figure that's already been released. Uh, but I do prefer the big ones, so I picked him up, and he is pretty cool. So moving on to the Mega Heat Ray Godzilla. Now this is actually a pretty cool figure because if you can see, he has a clear blue dorsal fins, and if you press a button on his side, he does light up, and that's actually pretty cool. He does also come with a couple of atomic blast darts that you can stick in his mouth, and there's a button on the side of his head that you can use to shoot off those atomic blasts. He is a really cool figure and a well-welcomed uh, member to the uh, collection. So last but not least, we have Kong. Now this is a pretty cool figure because he does light up like Godzilla. His eyes light up and he does make noise. All you have to do is wind him up. That's all you gotta do is making a punching motion so you can make it look like he's like, you know, throwing punches. Or you can add the uh, ax that he comes with and it looks like he's swinging the ax. So these two guys would make a cool looking uh, battle scene if you wanted to. Alrighty folks, that's the haul for this week. Uh, it was a great hunt and a great haul because there was tons of Godzilla on the show. And as a Godzilla fan, you love to see it. So if you're a Godzilla fan and you're looking for these figures, check your local targets for the Playmates figures, which are the Burning Godzilla and the Jet Jaguar figures. And if you're looking for the Kong versus Godzilla figures, check your local Walmarts. So with that being said, guys, like this video here, comment down in the comment section whether you agree uh, with the outcome of Godzilla versus Kong. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel because once we reach that 100 subscriber goal, we're gonna do a little bit of a giveaway. Uh, so far, I'm gonna give away the uh, NECA TMNT t-shirt. And I might include a figure of some sort in that to sweeten up the deal. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Till next time, guys, this is From the Depths Collectibles. I'm OJ. See you later.